Sasha Kaplinsky, a million pounds from five. <laughs> it's peanuts. We spent that much a week on my latte. I mean, it's Natasha now, is it? The last time I paid a million pounds for a woman, I got to choose what she was called. Welcome to RBG News. We've got all the news, all of the time. In fact, we spent a fortune on news casting technology, which is why, beneath me, you'll see a ticker tape of news from around the world from all of our reporters, plus live feeds from those stories as they happen, horoscopes, sports results, and interesting facts. I think I may have spotted a problem. I'm Mangrove Badger Hunt, and it's six o'clock. Well, probably. Somewhere. Good evening, and here are the headlines. The government announces a new British space mission. Dramatic events at the Diana Inquiry as Mohammed al fayed changes his accusation. The Church of England announces the onset of revelation. And another UFO is reported in a London hotspot. Plus the weather and sport. Benefits of technology there, ladies and gentlemen. And now for our top story. The government today announced its intention to finally put a British man on the moon. Prime Minister Gordon Brown denied this was just a distract from recent disasters under New Labour, but insisted we must look in every possible location for Madeleine McCann. The Old Bailey inquiry into Princess Diana's death enters its third year today. Or maybe it just feels like it. Anyway, we're getting news that there have been some major events there today. Brian. Yes, a major shock here at the Old Bailey today when Mohammed al Fayed retracted his previous allegation that Princess Diana was killed by a close encounter with a white fiat in that fateful tunnel in Paris. Mr al Fayed now alleges that Diana was actually killed when one of the tyres of the car was shot out by a sniper rifle wielded by a yeti riding on Shergar. Surely no one would believe that. Well, that's up to the jury to decide, of course. But we have heard that Channel 5 has offered Mr al Fayed a major new documentary series examining historical conspiracies. In the first episode, entitled The Jesus Conspiracy, we'll learn how Jesus was really killed by Prince Philip using a nail gun that fires nails backwards through time. And now, back to the studio. Brian McBrien there, at the Old Bailey. The Church of England has today announced that it can confirm that the beast, the evil monster that will bring about Armageddon on Earth, has been identified. They've issued a photo fit and an identifying number. Asked how they arrived at the number 666, the Archbishop of Canterbury told us that he'd multiplied the 7 by the 100, deducted the 50, and then added the 4 times by the other 4. And we've heard this afternoon that there's been yet another UFO sighting in South London, in an area rapidly becoming known as the Tooting Triangle. Our reporter Brian St. John Brian has more on that story. Brian. Thank you. Yes, in what's become the latest of a long series of local sightings, a man working in his garden claims to have spotted a UFO. Mr Blinking, could you tell us more please? Oh yes, I was in the garden fiddling with my wife's clematis when I looked over and saw something shining above the gasworks. And could you describe it for us please? Oh yes, it was all metal and pipes and you sometimes see people coming out of it. Not the gasworks, Mr Blinking, not the gasworks. Oh, the UFO, you mean? Uh, yes, please, if you don't mind. Well, it was dish-shaped, and it was hovering there silently. Mind you, the wife thinks I'm mad. And why would she think Thank that? Uh, this latest UFO encounter is right in the heart of what has been called the Tooting Triangle due to the sheer weight of sightings. This so-called triangle is marked to the north by the Frisbee Testing Factory, to the southeast by the Dinner Service Demolishing Company, and to the southwest by the Lampshade Drying Headquarters. Despite calls for an inquiry, the cause of these sightings remains a complete and inexplicable mystery. Now, back to the studio. And now, sport. Only one Premiership match tonight, but if you're planning on watching Match of the Day later, you should look away now. And you can look back again. I'm kind of surprised that wasn't mentioned on the news, actually. But hey, there you go, it's only football. And now the weather with Gary Newman. Thank you, Gary. 
Well, that's it from tonight's RBG News. So that's it from tonight's RBG News. There'll be another bulletin at 11, but not with me. I've already worked for five minutes today, and us top newsreaders can't tire ourselves out too much, can we? Call me Natasha. Good night. <laughs>